I do apologize for the late video. Um, however, there was a lot of new stuff that's come to Godzilla Battle Line, and so I will be breaking some of that down uh, in this video and the next one. So there is a new season, as we shall see once the game loads, uh, with Gigan 2004. It's called World Domination. Uh, so far, I haven't really done any battles. Um, but first, I want to walk through uh, some changes I've made to my team, and then after that, the new units. So basically what I've done is I've just made my team all of my highest level units, um, just because at a certain point, my four stars just weren't high enough to um, be effective in battle. But anyways, we've got two new units. I've already unlocked one. Um, but the first new unit here uh, is kids. And so basically, as we can see, it costs six energy and it can teleport units kind of like in a sonic ring portal from the movie um, and bring those units up the field where they will then attack the boss. Uh, honestly, seems a little OP, um, but since I've unlocked it, um, we can test it out in battle. I'm guessing there's probably a catch that isn't exactly obvious. And then Gigan 2004. And as we can see, it can hook onto an enemy and then just start slashing uh, weak units to pieces. It's pretty fast. Got 572 health and 85 attack. Um, so, honestly, not great stats, but at a high level, its speed and its ability to kind of grapple into battle could be pretty effective. Anyways, I will be replacing this, uh, this Mecha Godzilla. Um, but anyways, let's see how good this unit is. Kind of taking a while. Ah, there we go. So, once this loads, let's see what we got. Okay. So I like to start off my pushes with Godzilla because he's a tanky unit and take a lot of damage and also dish a lot of it out. I like to put him close to buildings. Oh, hold on, we gotta counter that. Um, so a good strategy I found is to use the Mazer cannons to kind of paralyze him. He's kind of at the Manila, let's swarm with Kamakuras. Okay, so he has the damage advantage. Hopefully we can take him out. Oh God, what was that? Uh, yeah, so the paralysis saved us, although that Godzilla is dead. Let's get in a Manila. Uh, those destroyers shouldn't be a problem. However, this push is probably, yeah, it's uh, dead. Uh, so let's just save up some energy. Ooh, Godzilla Terrestris. Okay, ideally we can take that out before it evolves, but start with a Rodan. Um, Mazer cannons. I have... Oh god, I may have overused my energy. Okay, if we can swarm it, maybe we can take... Oh, those were well-played missiles. Okay, yeah, there's nothing I can do. He's gonna evolve. Um, that, that's gonna be a big problem. Take out that manila, please. Okay, thank you. Alright, so now he's got Godzilla Ultima. But if we can get a good push going, we might be able to counter it. Let's just save up here. Ooh, he's got energy refueling. Let's take that out, because we don't want him to have the energy advantage. Darn. Okay. So he's going with his Godzilla again. So his does more damage, so I'm going to use Rodan, because he won't be able to hit me. Um, and sort of can't oh, there's the Ultima. Okay, this is not going well. If we can... Manila can slow him down, but without Rodan, we're in a bad situation. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think our best bet is to draw in Ultima uh, and then attack him. Although this Godzilla might be able to tank the hits. Oh, yes. Okay, Manila's distracted him. Perfect. That's why I've added Manila to my team. He doesn't have a lot of health or attack, but that paralysis can sometimes save us. I've got a good push here. King Ghidorah, how much health does he have? Oh, come on, come on. Breakthrough. Uh, we've lost Rodan. Um, hmm. It's gonna teleport him, but he's pretty close, so it's not really worth the energy. Um, ah, we 
just haven't broken through yet. Luckily, that Ghidorah isn't too strong. Should be able to take it out. Also, good stuff. Okay. That's quite a serious push. Um, maybe if we can get, um, uh, absolute zero, might be able to missile him. But right now we are in full damage control mode. Okay, over time, if I can get eight energy, we might be able to have a chance. Although, oh no. Yeah, he's, that Godzilla's too close. Come on, paralyze him. Slow him down. Oh god. Uh, I think he's got us. Come on. Oh, Aminil is down, yeah. This is... And Ultima is locked on. Yeah, good game. That was well played. All right, so unfortunately we weren't able to use kids in that battle. Um, so save time. Uh, I'm just gonna keep doing battles until I find you know a good one to use it. So I will see you soon. Okay, uh, let's give this another shot. Must say, I've noticed that opponent matchmaking sometimes takes a while, and of course, every time I say that, I get an opponent. Okay, so we got Kiryu versus Kiryu. He's a Kiryu maniac, um, which is a title for, I think, when you use Kiryu a lot or upgrade it, so he's probably very experienced. All right. Uh, we don't really have anything good to start with a push, so why don't we use Kamakura's counter that? He's got a unit base. Uh, all right, let's start a Godzilla push. Uh, you know what, this time let's save up some energy, and let's use kids to bring our Godzilla forward. Alright, and, okay, so he's kind of just frozen, warps in, wow, he goes right to the boss, that's OP, oh no. Okay, I see the catch now. So, yeah, you do get teleported right there, but as we can see... It takes a while, and that gives your opponent time to counter. However, we're doing some good damage. Maybe we might be able to win. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be... Oh, thank you for your sacrifice, Godzilla. Okay, wow. That was pretty good. But as I was saying, so it looks like, yes, using that unit will teleport your troops ahead. Um and can bring them right to your enemy kaiju leader. Uh, oh, we got uh, Space Godzilla. But the weakness seems to be that it takes a while, and that will give them time to repair. However, oh, he's got an energy refueling station. Uh, so he's down energy because he spent it right away. So if I save up and then take that out... I have the energy advantage. Shame we couldn't take out Mothra, but it, yeah, what are we going to do? All right, let's try that again. If we start up a good push, oh, he's got a super X. Okay, shouldn't be able to reach us. We start off another push, use uh, kids, or maybe I should say K-I-D-S. I'm not really sure. All right, let's teleport him in. Just get behind the enemy line. Ah. Okay, now, now I understand. Uh, I was gonna say, just teleporting them right to the enemy team's leader, Kaiju, seems a bit OP, but now I get it. It doesn't actually do that. Just takes them in a straight line, and okay, yeah, he's pretty effectively countered me with a Jet Jaguar and Mothra. However, if we could still break through, we could do some good damage. Um, that, uh, yeah, Jet Jaguar is down for the count, but Mothra has done some good damage. Maybe we can get a hit off? No. All right, that's a shame. Okay, but you know, Manila's doing some damage. Um, gonna have to deal with that Mothra. So Godzilla, take the hits. And then the only thing I've really got is some Mazer Cannons to paralyze her. I'll let Kiryu do some damage and Mothra's turn on us. Okay, that's not great. Maybe distraction with Kamakuras, give Kiryu a bit more time. Okay, we're fine. Activating Photon Field. Oh, Godzilla has broken through. Uh, let's missile that. Oh, I think we've won. Yeah, see that Godzilla? He's slow, and he can't attack aerial units, but that damage is just unmatchable, especially at high levels. Um, so, 
gotta say, uh, kids or KIDS, it's it's okay, um, but it's not great. Cure you again, you know, at a high level it could be good, but right off the bat, doesn't seem that worth it with its uh, kind of low attack and health. KIDS, it's expensive and it just takes a while to teleport, which is kind of a shame, but I understand they had to do that so it's not too OP. Probably not really going to use it in future battles because I think I might not use it a ton and that's just taking up an extra slot in my uh, unit loadout. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and the look at the new units in the world domination season for Godzilla Battleline, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!